Opposition members of parliament returned to the chambers this afternoon after storming out of parliament two days ago in protest. Their walkout was prompted by the failure by the deputy speaker of parliament, Thomas Tayewa, to compel government to apologize for what they described as illegal disruption of opposition activities by security operatives. While Tayewa guided parliament that the internal affairs minister would immediately make a statement after his communication from the chair, the promise did not materialize. I amend the order paper to accommodate that statement immediately after my communication. Rising on a procedural matter, Rakai District Woman Member of Parliament Juliet Kinyamatama disrupted the agenda of the day, leading to a paralysis and an abrupt adjournment of the proceedings. Members, the Honorable Zake, came to my constituency and used defamatory words against me that I cannot mention here. A decision by Tayewa to have the matter referred to the Committee of Parliament on Rules, Discipline and Privileges sparked protests and commotion in the House. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. At an attack on a woman is an attack on all women. The reason as to why I'm asking for that video to be played, it's because those words, I cannot say them. Let the world see what he said. Why are we covering evil? There are issues, there are people who haven't seen it. That video, I wouldn't want to give it prime time. I wouldn't want to give it prime time. It was, uh, it was really bad. I wouldn't want to give it prime time. <laughs> 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 I'll suspend it for 10 minutes. On return, he communicated that a position was reached to have the matter investigated by the Discipline Committee, which was given 45 days to report back to Parliament. This calmed the House despite dissatisfaction by a section of opposition MPs. With the decorum restored, the State Minister for Internal Affairs, David Muhozi, delivered a statement in regard to the manner in which National Unity Platform President Robert Chagulanyi was intercepted by security personnel at Entebbe Airport and the disruption of the party's Independence Day celebrations at Kamoja as well as inciting violence and uttering defamatory statements against the person of the President of the Republic of Uganda. In a twist of events, Mukono North Member of Parliament, Abdullah Chwanuka, never allowed Muhozi to deliver the statement. The Minister of Internal Affairs proceeding well to give a priority to the recently directed, to the recently raised the issue of the human rights and leaving aside and leave aside the, the, the statement which was earlier on asked by Parliament is in order. Since the Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs does not want the statement and he wants the other statement to come first is more priority. Minister first go bring that statement, then we shall later on handle this one of human rights. Next item. The intervention by the leader of opposition, Mathias Impuga, to have the decision reverted was however disrupted as sections of the women member of parliament got involved in a scaffold which interrupted proceedings. They asked the deputy speaker to force Zake out of the house as the scaffold ensued even after the sitting was adjourned. <laughs> Honorable colleagues, House Adjan to Tuesday at 2 p.m. This is the third time the Mintiana Municipality Member of Parliament, Francis Zake, is being referred to the Discipline Committee of Parliament. His second case was never disposed of by the committee. However, this latest case could jeopardize his opportunity of being restated into the Parliamentary Commission job, which Constitutional Court found that he had been irregularly removed from the position. Jackson Onyango reporting for NTV at Parliament.